Bolsonaro blocks free tampons and pads for disadvantaged women in Brazil. Campaigners say president's veto is absurd and inhumane in country where period poverty keeps one in four girls out of school. Here's a summary of the article. President Jair Bolsonaro's decision to block a plan to distribute free sanitary pads and tampons to disadvantaged girls and women has been met with outrage in Brazil, where period poverty is estimated to keep one in four girls out of school. Bolsonaro vetoed part of a bill that would have given sanitary products at no charge to groups including homeless people, prisoners and teenage girls at state schools. She was among politicians and other groups outraged by justifications given for the veto, including that giving free sanitary products to poor girls and women would favor a certain group. Many students are prevented from studying because they stop attending school due to not having a sanitary pad. Have you ever imagined using paper, newspaper or breadcrumbs to contain menstruation? This is a harsh reality, especially among young people. In May, a report by the UN Children's Fund, UNICEF, and Population Fund, UNFPA, found that 713,000 girls in Brazil live without access to a bathroom. About 4 million girls don't have adequate hygiene facilities at school, such as sanitary pads and soap, and at least 200,000 girls lack even the minimum hygiene facilities at school, such as bathrooms. Half of Brazilian women reported resorting to such alternatives, she said. Barroso is mobilizing students to collect sanitary products to give out at schools. This post received a score of 55,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I have no idea how government works in Brazil. Can the president just do that? Mostly like the US. A few key differences. President has line item veto power. Vice president is not president of the Senate. The lower house is elected by proportional representation, so there are a number of parties. It takes an absolute majority of Congress to override a veto. It takes three-fifths of Congress to pass a constitutional amendment. It takes two-thirds of both houses to impeach and remove a president or vice president. In emergency situations, the president can enact laws that last for 60 days and renewable for another 60, unless Congress kills it or votes to make it permanent. There is a mechanism for trying the president and vice president for ordinary crimes. The president can only declare war in case of foreign aggression and if authorized by Congress. Super important. Elected people, mayors, governors, deputies, senators and the president are given a special status within the justice system and can't be tried by regular courts. In abstract, that seems like a bad idea. In practice, it's actually much worse than it looks, sounds and feels like. Source. I'm a Brazilian living the effects of that shitty idea. This guy just really revels in the fact that he's a gigantic piece of shit, doesn't he? He finds new and creative ways to be an asshole every day. Greater than. President's veto is absurd and inhumane. Isn't that just classic Bolsonaro? This guy is to humanity what COVID is to humans, a plague. Probably worse. I can at least vaccine against COVID and merely having an immune system gives you a fighting change against it. Against Bolsonaro, the only things an individual can do are probably illegal. The vaccine also wasn't made by an individual. Education, democratic solidarity and progressiveness are the vaccine for populist scum like Bolsonaro. The same basic attributes that also make our scientists able to act freely and efficiently to create vaccines. It is through the inaction of a large chunk of the world's population that we see democratic backsliding, unmitigated climate change etc. Be enthusiastic about democracy and get others motivated and we can turn this planet into a paradise for all. We have the means, we lack the will. The more I read about period poverty, the more it disturbs me. The idea Bolsonaro would willingly do this is nothing short of malevolent. There were people in America bitching about giving women in prison tampons. I mean what is the alternative there? Whatever it is, it's not hygienic. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.